Greetings of good day. I am Elimar A. Paspo from Talangan Integrated National High School, Nakaralan, Laguna, Philippines. The title of my study is Parent-Teacher Learner Collaboration in Modular Distance Learning. The onset of the COVID-19 pandemic in the first quarter of this year 2020 somehow perplexed educators on how to possibly deliver quality education to the youth. Teachers around the world have explored different approaches as a solution to a non-face-to-face -face interaction that the pandemic calls for. Several researches have been designed so as to share experience in teaching under the new normal and thereby make the teachers ready on how they would possibly deal with education in their own locality. There is the insertion of different online activities to learners so as to sustain their interest while in virtual meeting. Kids were made to express what they feel, not only in social media, but also virtual meeting apps because it is believed that if they would not be allowed to do so, the spiral of silence would promulgate, thereby causing social media anxiety. The Department of Education in the Philippines has three learning modalities and a solution to various situations in education setting, face-to-face, -face, distance learning, and blended learning. Distance learning is further divided into online distance learning or ODL, modular distance learning or MDL, and television and radio-based instruction or TBRBI. Combining any of the modalities is also possible and it is called the blended learning. The combination of ODL and face-to-face -face popularized what we now call a split classroom, wherein several studies have proved the learning modality as effective in delivering competency to learners. The combination of MDL and face-to-face give rise to what is called remote learning wherein only a portion of the allotted time is spent in the classroom while the rest of the lesson and activities are already laid down in the module that is being distributed to the learners. The IDEA or IDEA lesson exemplar which is equivalent to the lesson plan of teachers has four paces namely introduction, development, engagement, and assimilation. Each of these phases has corresponding learning experiences that are expected to be built alongside learning. For the development phase, the learner should be able to collaborate not only with their classmates, but also with their teachers. Using the modular distance learning, an additional workforce that would be needed in the collaboration is the parents. So aside from the teacher and the learners, the parents has important role to do for the learners to achieve maximum learning out of the modules being distributed to them. This may not be confined into guidance, supervision, and monitoring as this is study explored. The Pangram House implies the collaboration between the parents, teachers, and learners. Teachers carefully prepare the modules through the guidance of the central office of the Department of Education. They also prepare additional or supplemental materials in order to motivate the learners, provide enhancement activity, fix needed skills, and clarify specific or important points in the lesson. The learners need to spend quality time in dealing with the modules provided to them. With good study habit and proper time management, they will be able to cope up with the needed pacing and the requirements to be passed. Motivation and supervision from parents intervene in this event. Parental guidance in picking into the materials is indispensable. Answering questions that the child has would be a good input from them. Or if not, 
A communication features would facilitate learners' understanding of the concepts in the module. The tree near the Tangram house represents the learner's achievement. Through proper guidance of the teachers and the parents, learners will be able to gain the competency, produce quality outputs, and will result in the good academic standing. Findings of the study made by Mestri and Grobler of 2020 affirms that input from the parent community was crucial in both curricular and extracurricular program of the school. This South African educational research found out that even though there is an existing contract that parents signed about partnership in school with regards to policy making and other program, it was observed that low participation from the parents were seen especially during school activities. Consequently, it was noted that learners whose parents are less involved in school program have lower academic performance than those who are actively participating in school affairs. This research showed that both collaboration and communication played a vital role in the education of the children and in school governance. The Warley of 2014 in her study focused in investigating on how teachers can support parents how parents can support teachers in creating meaningful and engaging literacy opportunities for a child. She found out that parents do not always wish to communicate ideas or happenings at home because the teacher may view it negatively. She motioned that the teachers can support parents at home by suggesting an adjustment in the daily routine of a child at home which can foster child's literacy development. Also. She suggested at the end of the study that schools should empower the parents at home in meeting the needs of a child through family literacy initiatives that naturally occur at home. The figure shows the step-by-step -step procedure executed in gathering data for this study. The author communicated the idea to the school principal of the subject school, Tlangan Integrated National High School. The project was then disseminated to the parents, teachers, and learners through the guidance of this webinar initiative because the school year 2020-2021 started. Parents, teachers, and learners were invited to participate and those who willingly responded were noted for informed consent. The start of the school year signaled the start of module materials distribution as well. As the schooling of the learners progressed, qualitative questions were solicited to parents, teachers, and learners every week, focusing on their experience on module distance learning. Responses were received through Google Forms. Responses were transcribed, ready for thematic analysis and interpretation. Earning for a living is not a hindrance to supervising children in module distance learning. Parents can spend quality time during night time to inquire of the progress of their child based on the subject loads given by the school. Learners develop independence in studying through parents' discreet guidance and affection. Parents should be loving and caring, enough for the learner to know that he is given attention, not necessarily constant assistance in answering the modules. Parents' hindrances to collaboration can be classified as internal and external in which both can be mitigated through school intervention. Even if there is a contract that parents sign at the beginning of the school year, it is important that the intervention is continuous. Parents' assistance to learners in modular distance learning can include personal guidance, family intervention, communication to teacher, and web browsing. If the parents' knowledge is beyond the scope and competencies of this generation, 
There are many things that the parent can explore in order to provide assistance to learners. Module and supplemental materials, while aiding for scaffolding and learning, should be aligned with students' needs, interests, and learning style. In preparing supplemental materials, teachers should have knowledge of how the learners learn best. Supplemental materials are beneficial in meeting the learning characteristics of 21st century learners and an aid in achieving learning objectives. They provide students who want to know more about the topic additional information. Teachers can motivate parents in the process of collaboration when they reach out, give quality time, and show real concern for learners' interest. Teachers should be open in communication and in providing feedbacks to learners and parents. Teacher feedbacks are important element of collaboration because learners are motivated through corrective measures and parents are informed if close supervision is needed. Feedbacks provide corrective measure when the learners meet the target of what he is supposed to acquire. Learners should have an open mind in the feedbacks and assistance of parents and teachers because this will lead for them success in modular distance learning. Learners should be the parents and teachers' supportive discipline if he wants to be guided towards success. Learners should avoid cramming, procrastinating, and distractions, and clearly set goals for themselves associated with every module or lesson. And at the end of each week, they need to recall or review concepts that they have encountered so as to strengthen learning. School officials should institutionalize collaboration so that when this pandemic is over, the culture of joining together hand-in-hand hand would still continue for continuous progress of education. Collaboration should not be a one-time project or program but system that needs to be embraced whatever the mode of learning is being implemented. Future researchers should explore on the deeper aspect of collaboration in other modes of learning like online and blended. The television and radio-based instruction is also a mode of learning that needs parents' guidance as kids watch the show or hear the broadcast. The comparison or contrast of collaboration can be investigated as schools may shift from one learning modality to another in the next school years to come. This worldwide pandemic is indeed an obstacle, including the aspect of education, but not the finish line. Collaboration has become a popular notion, a mass practice for equality output in education. Before, this word is applied for selected areas in which a certain strategy is needed in order to get into the goal. But now, it has become a popular idea, a single strategy that will deliver the utmost output when all the elements are properly put in place. Parents, teachers, and learners have their specific tasks independently, but more importantly, collaboratively. Three chords intertwined is a strong force. Together, schools can make a difference. The education system can survive and be able to overcome obstacles. The best in our future is still waiting when we learn to work jointly and produce something that will leave others a path to follow. Once again, this is Elmar A. Pasco from Kalangan Integrated National High School, Nakarlan, Laguna, Philippines. Thanks for watching. Keep safe and have a great day.